A picturesque day here in Central Florida as we welcome you back to our coverage of the 2011 AAU Age Group National Championship Gymnastics Meet. Time now to take a look at the beam competition and what might the judges be looking for? Well, clearly they're hoping that the competitors will combine harder skills because that will create a better overall routine. The more aggressive, if you stick it, the better. Taking a look now at the beams competition, Abby Barnes out of Wisconsin once again just missing by a tiny margin of ending up maybe fourth or perhaps even third. Her 8.350 is good enough for a fifth place finish in the competition on the beam. How about fourth? Well, Michaela Redding once again competing for extreme gymnastics. Coach Jessica Allen had to like what she saw her young athlete accomplish out there. No, it wasn't exactly what she had in mind, but an 8.950 is a very solid effort. Speaking of solid, how about Alexa Cohen once again out of the Commonwealth of Virginia? You know, Aerial East Gymnastics is a terrific club, and they have to love what Alexa has been able to do throughout the competition. A very high mark, a 9-0, good for third, and just barely a hair less than Kristen Valasek, who scored a 9-0-5-0. Valasek continues to perform very well for Ariel East, and it's only the little slightest margin of difference sometimes that's the difference between second and third or second and first. And speaking of first, how about Megan Lug once again out of the Commonwealth of Virginia again? Ariel East Gymnastics, what about that? A 1-2-3 clean sweep, and Megan Love once again showing everybody else how to do it with a 9-3-5-0. Don't go anywhere. The 2011 AAU Age Group National Championship meet continues here from the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. We're going to do a little Dancing with the Stars. It's the floor exercise after this. There are still men who honor the tradition of victory. These are men possessed without running fear itself. Drowned so deep in fiendish speed they sweat gasoline and spit fire. Undaunted, they charge into the looming infernos just to shred the very hides off of anyone who questioned their dominion. Why would anyone choose this life of relentless flame and merciless steel? Cause it's racing. Sometimes it's not easy to find good talent for Sports Center, which is why we brought in Les to help with recruiting. And of course, you'll have full access to our state-of-the-art digital center. Best in the nation. We pride ourselves in getting the best. Sometimes you just have to pull out all the stops. Born to wear pinstripes, eh, Dad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> John Anderson's just don't grow on trees. You gotta go out and find them. Can you see yourself sitting here in front of millions of sports fans? Yes, sir. Me too. Hey, fellas, what's going on? Well, we're just doing a test to see what generates more force. Dwight here, or a professional rodeo bull. We want to be that tackling dummy. And we welcome you back to the 2011 AAU Age Group National Championships Gymnastics Meet here at the Johnston Center at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. Taking a look now at the floor exercises and what the judges might be looking for. As you might imagine, you want to have the power, you want to hit your landings, but clearly they're hoping that there'll be lots of artistic skill. And we're told by the judges, the better the skill, the better the value, and the more points. Taking a look at the top five on the floor exercises, how about Alana Reese? You know, she was not in the top five anywhere else, but better late than never, the floor exercise separating the wheat from the chaff, an 8.825. Not bad, an outstanding performance, I should say, for the youngster from Georgia. But not a good enough for fourth. That goes to Hannah Burris, who was in that fourth or fifth range throughout the competition on 9.025. Good enough for fourth, just a shade out of third. And behind this young lady, Kristen Valasek.
a 9.250. And if you think about it, had she finished just slightly stronger, it may have been enough to propel her to the overall win. Instead, she settles for third behind Alexa Cohen. A 9.300 for Alexa Cohen. That was her second best overall finish. She also finished second in the vault. And good enough to finish behind Michaela Redding, who, by the way, finishes just ahead of Alexa Cohen overall in third place. She has a 9.325 for number one on the floor. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we will love the gold as we talk about the overall championship standings. You're watching ESPN's Wide World of Sports. What if I told you some marathons never end? That talent can elude us. That someday finally comes. What if I told you that a movie could change the way you look at sports? ESPN Films award-winning 30 for 30. Complete your collection or own the entire series. Blu-ray available exclusively at Best Buy. There's no night like Sunday night. On a diamond so bright it has to be covered in dirt. Where everyone watches the highlights as they're happening. And just when you wonder if you've died and gone to heaven, Someone tells you. It's not heaven. It's the bottom of the fifth. On baseball's biggest stage, every light shines on the same field. Sunday Night Baseball, 8 Eastern on ESPN, presented by Taco Bell. There's only two things I love more than herding cattle. And that's beans and sports. And thanks to the Watch ESPN app, I'm always connected to live games in my favorite ESPN shows. The only predicament is deciding what to put on the big boy. Van Gundy! <laughs> the new Watch ESPN app. The ESPN Network's live on your phone and tablet. 
And welcome back inside the Jocelyn Center, everybody, inside the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex at the Walt Disney World Resort. I'm Kevin Cork as we continue to bring you our coverage of the 2011 AAU Age Group Nationals Gymnastics Meet. We've seen some tremendous competition, and if you've been watching our telecast, there's a pretty good chance you have a sense of who the champions overall might be. But in the meantime, while we have a moment, why don't we share some of the earlier action and some of the winners from Level 7 and 8. Taking a look now at those overall results, level seven, Taylor Doran out of Georgia, 35.975 in group one. Stephen Hall out of New England, a pair of New Englanders, in fact, a trio of New Englanders looking terrific in groups two, three, and six. Carly Teaches also finishing tops in group number six. Hey, let's not forget the folks from Missouri Valley and the outstanding gymnast from Florida, Alexis Gates. Taking a look now at the overall gold medalist, level eight, Jasmine Woods making the Georgia State, the Peach State, very proud. 36.375 to take home the gold in group number one. Alex Mazur and Rachel Taylor from Georgia and Ozark tied up there at the top of group two. Congratulations to them. How about Kaylee Weed from Virginia taking the gold in group number three with a 36.250. The Old Dominion, very proud of Kaylee. The Open Division overall first place goes to Megan Love, and we love what she was able to do with the competition. Talk about consistency. First in the vault, first in the bars, first in the beam, and even though she didn't do well in her usual specialty, the floor, she was able to capture the first place overall victory with a 36.900. Congratulations to Megan Love. And that will do it for the 2011 AAU Age Group National Gymnastics Championship meet. My name is Kevin Cork, and we want to thank you for spending time with us here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports. For the good folks at the AAU and for our entire staff, have a great afternoon. We'll see you again next time.